just started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like.
someone is to get to know them. Isn't that right? Fair enough. What's that noise? Operator to 9S. Emergency transmission incoming. We've detected a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems to be accompanied by a large number of machine life forms. All Yorha members are ordered to engage at once. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope... Operator 210 here, do you read me? Operator to 9S, I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first, we've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Two of them? Now, the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. That's your R&D for you. Check your map data. Operator out. Thanks, Operator. 2B, Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just sent the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. Central Wiring Hub. those flight units while we can. <laughs> Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it, thanks.
target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Yorha. This is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine lifeforms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used Command's data to determine the signal's source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? What is this? Analysis. It is a cave caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern? That's a weird looking enemy. is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This hallway looks pretty old.
Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Are they... dead? To be. Huh? Look! Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome to the graveyard of our creators. You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows, perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow, we can become... Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity, and now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Tubi, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. 
Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running, too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. This job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine.
The whole place is like a giant machine's nest. I wonder what it used to be like. Accessing historical records. Analysis. This location was once used for weapons production and experimentation. No kidding? What kind of weapons? Humanoid combat robots. Common examples include the P-22 and P-33 models. Human-shaped weapons, huh? Wonder if they work like flight units. Unknown. No image-based information exists. Access the data over there. There we go. That's what 210 wanted. Now I just have to send it to her. Alert. Poor reception in this area is preventing data upload. Proposal. Unit 9S should move to an area with better reception. Got it. This should be good enough. 
Pod, upload that data to Operator 210. Affirmative. Operator 210 to 9S, come in. This is 9S. I received the data you sent. It's fascinating. It appears to be the journal of a human who once worked in the factory. What, like a diary? Yes. According to this, the man worked long hours on an almost daily basis. He says, and I quote, They are working me like a machine. Working like a machine to build a machine? Humans truly were strange creatures. Sounds like it. I'll send you a reward later. Wait, I can get rewarded for doing this? I didn't say you would not get a reward. No, but... Hey, don't disconnect me. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Relics from the old world. Searching for relics in the desert without assistance might prove difficult. Proposal. Unit 9S should use the dynamic scanner. Material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization.
Well, aren't we generous? Hmm? All this help for no personal gain? I know she's pretty, but... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not like that! I mean, she is pretty, but that's... It's not... Whatever. Location data obtained. Marking on map. Did you learn anything from the factory data? Just how it was manufactured. Pretty boring, actually. There's still a lot about machines that we don't understand. Gather as much data as you can, no matter how irrelevant it may seem. We know we can find pristine screws on big bipedal machines, but what about large gears? Let's try the operator again. 9S to operator. We're trying to track down a large gear. Any idea where to start the search? Why are you looking for... Well, anyway, you can salvage the requested material from smaller machine life forms. Finding one intact might prove tricky, however. The part is easily damaged when the machine housing it is destroyed. Thanks, operator. That's good to know. Right. Let's go take out some small fry. <laughs> Straight to the point, as always, 2B. What a strange machine. 